Greetings people, this is Vaughan uh, again doing another audio for WCReplace.com It's been a while, uh, I've had people asking me uh, to do more, of course I don't have people asking me not to do more Anyway, uh, this is a game between me and uh, Roth something, let's see, what's his name? Roth of Lifer, okay uh, it's on Twitterverse, Night Elf vs. Orc. Uh, Roth um, played a friend of mine on this map. My friend wasn't very used to Orc. Uh, he tried his best, but <laughs> it's very hard to do a power push with grunts and headhunters with only one barracks. Anyway, he was asking me what to do about it, and I figured I'd give this Roth guy a bloody nose because he is just a little bit annoying. Uh, maybe he doesn't understand the common uh, way that we do things. Uh, there's an episode in this game where you will see a taste of it. Anyway, <coughs> it's two rivers, some maps that I usually don't play because <laughs> I don't like it. It's uh, imbalanced. Um, I've discussed that several times. Also, when you're facing Night Elf with either Human or Orc, you're at a bit of a disadvantage because you don't have Dust in Shop and the only place you can get it is guarded by uh, serious Golems in the uh, bottom right corner, as most of you know. And since they fixed the Merchant uh, tricks, you can just sneak up there unless you're using a Blade Mask with Windwalk. Anyway, Enough of my blabbering, uh, we're at 1 minute mark 1 x speed, and we'll start on the countdown of 3, 2, 1, and pause. As you can see, I am in the north position, which is the reason I don't like this map, because my easiest expansion is right in his way to my base. Uh, in order to get the out of the way expansion, I have to take on red creeps, and you don't do that unless you have a serious army, in which case you should have expanded a long time go anyway. While the uh, south position and the expansion is out of the way, if the enemy wants to hit it, uh, he either has to go by your base or go the long way around, and it's also a lot more easier to defend in that case. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, he's not going a Demon Hunter, he's going a Keeper of the Groove, but I'm going my Blade Master because I know this player is good and I expect that of Demon Hunter. <laughs> Uh, the uh, de uh, the uh, blade mask can pretty much laugh at the demon hunter because critical strike uh, doesn't take any mana. So <coughs> we now have blade master versus a uh, a keeper of the groove. He's going to go with huntresses first, which is his normal build. He tends to use the same thing in every game. Goes up to her ass. I go down to her ass. I figure he can whisk me all. He wants, I go critical strike first, and every wisp he then detonates is one wisp that isn't getting wood. So I was sitting down there, and he's heading up, and we meet here on the bridge. Unfortunately, the heroes are the same speed, yeah, even though the blade master got a little bit faster in this patch. He still can't catch a keeper of the groove, or at least it's not falling behind. Uh, I say damn here because I expected a demon hunter award. So uh, he's uh, leading me on the chaser, which is just fun. That means he's not messing with my peons. <coughs> I figure uh, if he goes all the way around, I'll just take the long way to his uh, wisps. I'm working on my uh, power push build, as you can see. I'm still following him. He's now uh, working on his uh, huntresses. And things are going pretty good so far. Here I break off to go wisp hunting. Here you will see a uh, problem with entangle, apart from of course taking damage, not being able to move, uh, is that uh, when you are entangled, uh, it breaks all orders, so you basically have to reorder in the moment it's out of entangle. Here I figure, okay, it's time to leg it home, so I start running for home. And he entangles me again. I uh, he keep uh, hitting right click for home and then shift clicking uh, home also but uh, as soon as the entangle wears off he starts fighting here I was messing with my base thinking this wouldn't happen and I don't catch on until about now 
And that's a level one hero down, 170 gold cost, and about, what is it, 10-15 seconds to revive. Teleport scroll is 350 gold, and it's actually, in order to get a teleport scroll back for an orc player, it's 315 gold, 190 wood, and uh, 350 gold to get to target. Not to mention 45 minutes for the upgrade, so uh, letting a level one orc hero die is, is a lot cheaper and faster. Because uh, when you're running without the teleport scroll, <laughs> You're going to need it, you get caught, you get killed, you get your entire army lost, and uh, it's easier to lose a level 1 or kill. Here I explain my problem with the entangle. He's now creeping. Get my hero back out. I have the uh, power crit build all ready to go. I put my grunts up here by the mine because uh, since I was running with a Zulu hero harassment, I didn't want him coming up there and starting entangling shit. And that way I have my grunts ready to defend if I need to. Didn't expect to keep it out of the groove, but uh, that's fine. So we're into our creeping ourselves. I move my grunt back uh, earlier now, uh, because uh, if you start moving them when they're red, you're going to get attacked and that red grunt is going to get entangled. Yeah, it never fails. Uh, you can pretty much bank on it. If you creep a unit to red, it's pretty much dead. So, let's not do that, shall we? He is also now creeping, and I'm taking out, or getting ready to take out the expansion creeps. Not that I can expand without defending it every five minutes when he comes up to mess with my base. Uh, the only way I've found to do this is to uh, do a very aggressive play and stay on his side of the river, but the uh, problem is sooner or later he gets pushed back, and if he's chasing you, he has superior forces, and he can pretty much do whatever he wants with the yard expansion. He's now coming up north to mess with me and taking out this expansion and get some serious uh, candy here. A uh, potion of greater healing and wanted uh, and so strength gives me a more more health. What is it? It's uh, 25 hit points per uh, point of strength and that's uh, 75 more hit points. He's clearing out my creep which is the reason I didn't find it earlier. I find it later. Heal up my units, get ready to strike. He has wisps all over the map, which is a pretty good idea uh, when you reach tier 2 uh, and using huntresses you can use sentinels also. But uh, with wisps you can detonate on, on the hero if you're, if you're fast enough and you catch it in time. So it's pretty good scouting and of course they get wood everywhere. He attacks me, why he goes for barracks uh, is beyond me because it's not like he's going to do anything. I start focusing down. He runs with vastly superior forces here. If he had taken out my headhunters, he could have played around with my grunts afterwards. But uh, most Night Elf players that I have met tend to be that way. They get one huntress or two huntresses wounded by, by my headhunters and figure, oh crap, I can't win this, and then they run. Where they could just micro out the wounded uh, headhunters and finish up what I have and finish me, basically. Anyway, he didn't, so that's his fault. I'm making more units. I see this whisper. He's using a stone, as obviously you can see, because he wants some uh, juice in his moon walls. Can't uh, get salts and uh, rejuvenation is is tier two and it's not as efficient as regular salts or healing scrolls. So they are pretty much stuck with their moon walls. They seem so overpowered when you're busting into their base and their units won't die. But uh, once you have sucked the well dry the first time, it's going to take ages before they're ready again. So. If you just keep aggressive and make him use his wells, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Just run away and heal and come back and do it again. And even though you're paying a little bit of gold for souls, you're going to win out on the deal. He is uh, using the uh, Force of Nature, which is very efficient. He uses it uh, very good in this game. If you uh, cast it in the back line where I have my headhunters, uh, I have enemies on both sides and uh, it's a mess. As you can see here, it's doing it again. So I uh, decide that uh, it's better to go for those first, um, because otherwise I'm going to lose my main weapon against Huntresses. 
and I refocus my forces, try to get my headhunters in the back. Unfortunately, I'm being a little bit stupid like I always am. My micro could use some improvement. He isn't doing the best either, he's focusing on my uh, grunts, which have 700 hit points, while my headhunters in the back are beating up on his huntresses. For night elf players, and those of you who have faced this tactic and not entirely sure on how to deal with it, the easiest way if you want to go mass huntresses, or a lot of huntresses, is basically just take out the headhunters fast and then the grunts are your, uh, your little toys. Because mass uh, huntresses will take mass melee without support, and that's why I'm adding so many headhunters. <laughs> And even though you're taking more damage from the headhunters, the headhunters take more damage from the huntresses too, so either way you win on the deal because you have more hit points on your huntresses and you can micro easier. here. The uh, problem with uh, range units isn't that great when you have uh, short range huntresses, that's fast. Anyway. So uh, if you want to face the, uh, or if you do face the purpose, take the headhunters first. Uh, micro of course your units, that makes it a lot easier. Just don't run when you have like 8 huntresses and I have 4 grunts and 4 headhunters because you know you're just giving me time to get more of what I need. He's getting his druids of the cross, he is now at master rank um, using roar but uh, that's all he has and he's not shifting them over to bears just yet so he loses one. And I run back, figured it's time to heal up, and, uh, and, uh, reposition my forces. <coughs> up to now, uh, I have a pretty good game going. Uh, he has higher tech, but he only has one unit. Uh, now it's two. Uh, along with his two heroes, while well I have, what is it, four headhunters? Six headhunters. A grunt. And a catapult. So, um... So far I have the higher power here. I'm sending a mirror down to see what's going on, unfortunately I didn't take it out of the group, uh, so when I, uh, when I move my group in group 1 I send it back as you can see here. Oops. Also get my blade monster stuck. That's so nice when you have units routed to your hero and you're trying to run away and here comes reinforcements just standing there looking stupid in your way and you lose more units. But I keep an eye on that uh, when you're playing. Or at least I do. And most of you are probably better than me anyway. I get my second arrow, and since I hadn't changed my routing on the altar, he was heading down, but I caught him in time. I get uh, uh, serpent wards for him because I know that Ross likes to go huntresses, spears, and dryads, and wards do piercing. Um, plus they have lasting effect, you know, you throw one down and don't worry about it. And I decide to run in with my ranged units first. Uh, he gives me a commitment and I give it right back. <laughs> and I run in after him. Still pushing my units. I uh, shift my routing on my barracks a little late. I should have, uh, as soon as you get your second hero when you're using a blade master with a uh, mirror, shift it to your second hero because they will, uh, even if you use the uh, shift click thing to uh, get back on the hero, it's a mess. Just use your second hero as the target, it's much easier. Here I'm using mirror, and you will see the effect of this here a little later. I'm also being very stupid, uh, not in following him, but uh, stupid in uh, mixing my entire army up here. I uh, send everything in mixed, here you have headhunters and grunts mixed, and of course he's going to beat up on my headhunters. And this is pretty much where the game is lost for me. I uh, lose too many units, everything's up in a big jumble. You can see the grunts are beating up on, uh, on tree ants while my headhunters are being beat up by everything else. And it's, it's not a good deal for me. I lose uh, most of my units here as, as you see and, uh, and even though I keep making units the problem is that in order for the power push to be effect effective you have to have units going all the time. Get entangled, I didn't have enough mana, I think, for the uh, mirror image, and this, uh, I get smacked. Oopsie, that's a uh, level 4 hero down, that's gonna take a while, and uh, all my army down, and that's gonna take a while too. 
and uh, even with equal food uh, with higher tech units he's going to beat me uh, he has uh, the better force right here um, but he decides to do uh, nothing about it <laughs> here he says uh, GG which in, in his vocabulary means yeah and good game uh, or fun thing uh, in my vocabulary means I beat you, stupid bastard. Uh, good game. Just leave the uh, leave the game and save me some time. That's what it means for most of people. But uh, but uh, I was being a little annoyed here. Uh, not with him as such. A regular GD like that shouldn't uh, annoy me that much. But I wasted my entire army and I was not very happy with myself. And uh, um, that's what it was. Anyway. I'm trying to rebuild. Problem with uh, <laughs> problem with doing a power push is that you keep feeding uh, feeding gold into your units, which of course is what you're supposed to do. But if you lose all your units uh, and you're on a tight rope when it comes to gold, it's going to be a little bit difficult to rebuild grunts. At this time, I would have been just pushing headhunters, the occasional grunts, and the occasional grunt and some uh, more headhunters along with teching and getting more uh, upgrades for my units now I have to rebuild a force that I wasted foolishly and also my hero that uh, I teleported too late <coughs> and I'm getting ready to take on uh, these crews here but I do see that his wisp is messing around here and I also know that he knows that I'm right up there so if he wants to creep jack me he should run right up and of course if I had started creeping there he would have come up to creep jacking me but since I'm not of course he's not it goes to show uh, it's Murphy's law it's the uh, the uh, place you will see Murphy's law have the strongest effect is in Warcraft because if you don't have a teleport scroll you're going to need it and if you have it uh, you can pretty much play an entire game without ever needing it so um, it's like that better play it safe which isn't my strongest point for instance if people see you go up against heavy creeps or go up to a heavy creep spot um, if you creep it they will jack you if you don't they won't uh, it's pretty much that kind of thing okay I'm going ready to uh, keep this out here using spirit wards uh, and I uh, serpent wards and he's also creeping his side even though he has basically much the game he could have wasted me long before this if he had just been more aggressive but uh, he wasn't so he didn't that's a bit of luck for me also get a portion of greater mana which is also a bit of a lucky uh, streak because uh, the blade master does need a lot of mana for his uh, secondary skills like uh, mirror image is 150 mana straight off uh, I don't use uh, wind walk all that much so that's good for me he is now running a lot of uh, bears and uh, one in druid form for war and, and, and rejuvenation. He's also running master rank druids of Talon and they will make a big impact here. He did see me getting ready to creep here. I do know that he did. Uh, so I expect him to come and I see him coming here shortly. He's getting his uh, units uh, set up and I decide okay let's boogie in there. So I run in with my shadow hunter first, which wasn't my main idea, but uh, luckily I get away with it. Found on a ward, and here is a big lag spike by uh, what's its face? You'll see it right here. That's why the sudden uh, talking goes on here. I have my headhunters behind my line. He's using cyclone on him, which was very smart because that's uh, what is it? 32 max damage per attack, that doesn't happen, and uh, thus I take a lot more damage than I do regularly. But I uh, push as hard as I can, uh, keeping uh, mirror images and my grunts in front. I lose all my grunts of course, but uh, I manage to break through here. And I break his advantage, because uh, now his spears are, uh, are uh, pushed back, and he teleports out. So, time to build more buildings. Uh, actually, at this point of the game, I figured, yeah, I got it. You know, uh, the uh, bad mistake that I made in the beginning, uh, 
pretty much rectify that and now I got a fighting chance here especially since I now have a level 5 uh, blade master with level 3 critical strike that's, uh, and I can take on bears all on itself and with serious headhunters here we're, uh, we're looking at something uh, something worth working on here <coughs> I'm also getting a bestiary up I figured uh, a couple of ensnares on the bears would uh, keep them away from my headhunters we go in here, he's using uh, his uh, abolish on the Murs, which is kind of good because now he knows exactly which one is the right one. I keep getting beat up, I use a, uh, a um, healing wave and then another another uh, mirror image. It will give me a few seconds respite while he's trying to abolish those that are wrong. And I keep wasting his units. He's beating up on mirrors and my uh, my blade and that gives my headhunters the time to beat up on his units of course uh, I'm going to get totally stupid again here here we have a serious good position here everything's lined up just perfect so I'm wasting his units left and right there and I'm getting my hero up and since uh, the timer on the healing portion wasn't done, I figured time to uh, to go back, heal up and uh, and clear my mind. Usually after a little while of mic ring I tend to look blindly at the screen. And Ross is, you know, giving me some kudos, but uh, I'm not that good. Uh, I will prove this right here, <laughs> shortly. Okay, so while I'm getting more units, uh, our minds are getting short, none of us have expansions I have uh, about 550 gold he is running with just a few units uh, he is at uh, 206 gold mines just uh, went out for him <coughs> and uh, I spend my gold on my units so I can't expand uh, here I leave the raiders behind, they were on force group 3, but uh, I'm not used to using raiders and using the regular power push, so I didn't think of it. Oops, my mistake. He's now starting to walk his tree over because uh, he can't afford to make a new one, and uh, but of course he can walk his tree, I have to walk my peons. He says you win, and that's pretty much why I lose here, because I'm figuring, okay, so I won the game, now it's just a matter of cleanup, and so I get stupid. Uh, I've said this in several audios before, and of course, it's in every thread on the boards. Don't, you know, let up just because it looks like you have the game. I see his tree here, and I figure, okay, I'll beat it down, and that's the end of his game here. And so I do. He of course does not give up. He uh, feels like fighting all he can anyway. And he starts beating up all my catapults. I run in among his base. They're getting beat up by every building in the place. And I'm playing it pretty stupid. I am now at the uh, blade storm level, level six, and I figure, oh, I'll go in and I'll, you know, really show off and be a total, you know, overconfident jerk here. So I run in, run my blade monster in, and here we go, blade storm. He starts beating on me. Of course, there's not much else he can do, and I don't have enough mana for a uh, mirror, and I don't get up in time to uh, to uh, to uh, well, I don't think of using healing wave because I kind of got panicky there. So I lose my level six hero, and I don't have enough gold to get him back. And here I stupidly stay and fight instead of running back and healing up. Um, but that's just me. As you can see, my grunts are pretty much red. I can still win here if I just pull back and do something smart, but I don't, so I let him kill my entire force until I have almost nothing left. I'm running a uh, peon line here <coughs> to the mine that I cleared up. He has no gold income, but uh, my gold income isn't the fastest either. Right now I'm at 232 and a new expansion costs, what is it, 385 I think. And some wood, but of course I have plenty of wood. 
He says it's a good game. You know, I say the same because uh, I don't have uh, money for units. He, however, has two heroes. He has Moon while still functional. <laughs> and uh, I have this stupid Shadowhunter level 4, which isn't going to do much without support units. I'm still digging wood as fast as I can. I'm uh, getting gold as fast as I can. Run my uh, raiders in, figuring I can use some uh, pillage, uh, but I get uh, entangled, and since I have them both in the same group, I'm hitting right click so I can get them out when the entangle wears off, and that means that my non-entangled one runs right by the keeper and gets entangled, and that's two units uh, down right there. Warden goes up to level 5, whoopsie. And this game is pretty much lost. Uh, all he has to do is run his heroes up and there's not a fucking thing I can do. I mean, even if I burrow all my peons, he can still use force and nature and uh, and all that. So, it's pretty much done here. <laughs> Alright, so you can go now to whatever speed you want because the game is over. All he has to do is pretty much speed up on me and I'm done. Entangle and uh, Shadow Strike and that's it. Uh, pretty much the mistakes that I made in this game was fight when I shouldn't. Uh, not keep my units in, in good formation, or in good order. And uh, hitting uh, teleport uh, to invade uh, with my blade monster. Also being overconfident with the blade stone, even though it will kill weak units. It won't kill fully or uh, full health uh, uh, entire three melee because it does 770 hit points at max and uh, all of them have more than that. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the game. It was kind of tight, kind of good. I uh, pulled out a very uh, few good battles. Uh, pulled out a few incredibly stupid battles too. Uh, so, uh, I uh, will see you on the boards and uh, feel free to leave comments, and uh, that's the thing, cheerio!